So you guys, I've been doing a lot of videos lately about speaking the truth, speaking your truth, being authentic, and saying how it is that you feel without a filter. I want to give you guys a little bit of insight on myself and who I am and why I feel so strongly about these topics. It's because when I was a child, I had a lot of things that I could see. A lot of different, I guess we'll call them entities, would show themselves to me. I got bullied a lot in school and I was made to feel even by family members that my opinion or my perspective was somehow minuscule or weak compared to those of others around me. So I had to build this very strong protective barrier against what I felt like was myself and the people who were outside of me. I had to build that wall up. And the way that I built that wall was to be very blunt and very outspoken with who I am, what I am, and what I think. There was a long time where I retreated and I ran away from the gifts that God had given me in my life. There was a long time where I didn't want these gifts, where I didn't want to be able to see things and see through people and their intentions. But now I've realized the power in this. And this is why I want to tell you guys to speak up and not be afraid to say what's on your heart and to say what's on your mind. Because what I've learned over time within my own situations about myself and others and people who I observe that are going through difficult situations is that when you call out the demon, it loses power. I know there's some type of Bible verse or something biblical that connects to this statement, but I ain't really in the Bible, y'all. I'm just be honest with you. But the message still applies. When you call out the demon, when you face that shadow and you look directly in the eyes of whatever it is that's holding you back or whatever it is that you fear, you see it for what it really is. You can see every single detail of that particular entity that you may be facing. And when you call it out for what it is and say, I see you, I see you manipulation. I see you envy and jealousy. I see you fear with your ugly ass. It takes away the power that that negative influence has over you. It puts the power back in your hands. That's why I'm trying to motivate you guys to speak up more about the things that you don't want to face. To look it dead in its eye and tell it that you see it. Because the more that you do that and the more that you face these things head on without trying to run from it or hide, the more you get your power back and the less power that it has over you. Stop accepting what you don't want. Let me say it again. Stop accepting what you don't want. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I promise you, I guarantee you that if you adopt this philosophy into your life, you are going to get a lot more of what you want. And the first step to achieving that is to stop accepting what you don't want. The more that you accept things that you don't want, or the more that you allow things to remain in your life that are not in alignment with what you want, the more the universe sends you more of what you don't want. A lot of people online are very mysterious about manifestation, okay? And it's something that is a bit of a conundrum because it's so easy to understand, but it's so hard to incorporate these philosophies into your life. And one of the biggest things that I've learned about manifestation and bringing in what you actually want is to stop accepting what you don't want. See, when you accept things that really aren't in alignment with what you want or what you see for your future, you show the universe that you're not really serious about what you're saying. Balance is a big key to manifestation and spirituality. You have to have balance. So not only do you have to say what it is that you want and think of what it is that you want and envision the future that you see for yourself, but you also have to take action in order to get what it is that you want. So if the action that you're taking doesn't align with what you're saying that you want, it confuses the atmosphere, it confuses the universe, it confuses 
whatever spiritual beings are trying to help you manifest. It gives off basically the impression that you don't say what you mean. Metaphorically, it would be the same way as you being in a relationship with a person who says they want commitment, but they don't act like they want commitment. You're going to be confused, okay? You're going to be confused and you're going to be asking questions about the situation. Like, what is it that you really want? The same thing is happening when it comes to what you want to manifest and how God sees your prayers versus the action that you're taking to receive the answers to your prayers and the results of your prayers. So if you're accepting some shit that you really know is beneath you, that's probably what's blocking you from getting what you actually want. We got to start thinking about it, okay? One thing that I've struggled with a lot in my life, you guys, is choosing my battles, okay? Sometimes it's hard for me to prioritize what's important. I've found it really difficult to determine what deserves a response or reaction out of me and what does not. And I think because of the stress that so many of us are under right now in life in general, we're having to learn this lesson about which battles are important or which battles that we should be focusing on. Not everything that happens to you deserves a response or a reaction. And because there's so much going on for everyone within our society at the same time, and it feels like we're bombarded and inundated with so much information, we really have to be cognizant of what we give our energy to and what we react and respond to. I think that's something that a lot of you guys are learning about yourself. It's basically making your priorities a priority and leaving the other things behind. A lot of times you can gain a lot of value from talking to people who are older than you or who have experienced a lot throughout their life and they have that, you know, they just have that knowledge about what's important and what's not because of the amount of years that they've been on this earth. And every older person who I talk to tells me how valuable it is to choose my battles. So for you guys at this time in your life, I don't want you to feel guilty about the fact that you can't address everyone and everything that happens. I don't want you to feel like you're any less of a person or that you're weak for not addressing things that you feel are not a priority. Because right now in this age of delusion and distraction, we have to stay focused. We have to stay focused on the things that truly matter if we wanna move forward in our lives and achieve our goals. So I think something that would be very beneficial for you guys is to keep this in mind, that every battle is not one that you have to fight. Because a lot of times what you'll find when you choose to prioritize what's important and leave other things to the wayside is that some of the things that you may have encountered that felt like they deserved a reaction but turned out that they didn't will resolve themselves. We don't realize it right away, but sometimes the things that we don't address or that we just don't have time to address, we can't address it and deal with it, resolve themselves. Those issues resolve themselves. The people who we just don't have the energy to incorporate within our lives, whatever situation that we're dealing with with those people or whatever situations we may be dealing with at work or with our family or with our kids tend to resolve themselves even if we don't personally put our hand on the situation. Don't be afraid to just be still. So I've always been a very outspoken person and my outspokenness has often gotten me in trouble, okay, with people. But I've always been the type of person to say what I mean and mean what I say. I've always been the type of person to have really strong opinions and to stand on those strong opinions. But as you grow and you evolve through life, sometimes your opinions change. As the saying goes, y'all, the only thing that's constant in life is change. So what I feel would help a lot of you guys is to realize that that when you're going through something in your life that's positive or negative, that it's not gonna stay the same forever. You're experiencing positive things, but keeping in mind that your situation may change 
helps you to be more grateful for those positive experiences. When you're going through something negative, keeping in mind that it won't be negative forever will help you stay strong throughout whatever challenge that you're going through. And remembering that you learn and you grow and you evolve through every situation will help you not to feel as guilty or embarrassed by what opinions you may have had in the past, but that could have possibly now changed. I think one of the things that's really crazy about our society is how much the internet has influenced our life and how much what people have said on the internet comes back up to bite them and haunt them. I don't know, but I'm just getting the messages and I'm giving them out. But some of you guys may be aspiring influencers or people who may motivate others in their life. And what I feel like I have to tell you is that there's constantly gonna be change. Things are constantly gonna be fluctuating and going up and down, back and forth, side to side. You have to learn how to pivot. You have to learn how to adapt. But it doesn't mean that you change the overall core structure of who you are. With all of this information put together, I feel that right now people are really struggling with speaking the truth or saying how they really feel because they feel like they have to sugarcoat things due to the way, you know, situations come back to bite you. But what I want you guys to remember is that no matter how far you go and no matter what you learn or experience in your life, you can only make the best decision for yourself and other people around you based on the information that you have at the time. Don't be afraid to speak your mind. Don't be afraid to speak the truth and don't be afraid to say how it is that you truly feel. Because even if time goes on and people don't necessarily agree with what you say in the future, it doesn't mean that what you say isn't important for us right now. It doesn't mean that what you say right now isn't helping to inspire or influence someone in a positive way. One of the best ways that I feel that you can protect yourself in these instances of situations is to have good intentions. When you put something online or when you put something out there about your opinion or how you feel on a situation, have good intentions with what it is that you're saying. If your motivation is pure when it comes to the result that you want from what you're saying, then it will age well over time. The reason why so many people are getting canceled and the reason why so many things come back to bite people that they say online is because when they originally said it, their intentions were shit. When they originally said it, they didn't say it to help anyone. They didn't say it to move anything forward. They said it for more than likely a low vibrational, petty reason. Because we all know, honey, what goes around, definitely come back around. And where people fuck up is they forget that. They forget that things come in cycles and they forget that the energy that they put out is also the energy that they're gonna receive back. So what I want you guys to know is to stand firm on what you say, stand strong with what you say and be, I guess humble, but that's not really the word I want. Be open, be open to the fact that your views may change in the future and that the way people view your views could possibly change but also understand that if you had good intentions, that you don't have to be worried about anything that it is that you say, because those who are meant for you and those who are in alignment with you and those who are in your best interests are always going to be able to respect that fact about you because they will in return want you to respect that fact about them. I don't know, I just want people to speak up. I'm just tired of the sugarcoating and the bullshit and I just want people to speak up about how it is that they feel without the fear of being ridiculed. So I hope it helps. Love y'all, shit. <laughs> because I'm damn sure gonna say what I need to say. Ain't nothing gonna stop me from saying what it is I need to say. I don't care if a thousand, hundred thousand, million of y'all don't agree with what I say. I know that my intentions are pure for what I say. And I know that the reason why I'm speaking on certain things is because I want there to be some type of positive change. So good luck to y'all. Let's all be better influencers.